To perform this work, you're going to need to first safely lift and support your vehicle, as well as remove the rear tire. If you need assistance with that task, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. This photo illustrates the rear brake system. You can see the rotor, red arrow, the caliper, green arrow, and the brake pads, yellow arrow, one showing and one on the other side of the rotor. You will need to remove the parking brake ball end, red arrow, and cable clip, green arrow. This will allow you to remove the cable from the caliper and allow you to remove the caliper from the vehicle. Release the parking brake handle from inside the car. Begin by pulling the ball end, red arrow, up and out of its mount. Use a flathead screwdriver and unclip the cable stay, red arrow, from the bracket. The clip, red arrow, will pry off with moderate pressure. Do not lose the clip. I like to put it back on the cable for safekeeping once I have removed it from the cable. Push the cable, red arrow, back out from the mount, green arrow, and let the cable hang free. You will need to remove the two 13mm bolts from the caliper, red arrows. Use a 15mm wrench to counter hold the guide pins, red arrow, while removing the 13mm bolts, yellow arrows. The bolts are micro-encapsulated from Volkswagen and are considered single-use only. Order new hardware when you're ordering your parts. Pull the caliper, yellow arrow, off from its mount leaving the brake pads, red arrow. Depending on the conditions of the pads and whether they have anti-squeal backs, you may need to use a fair amount of wiggle and force to get them off. Hang the caliper up out of the way, red arrow, with a bungee cord or a piece of rope. Never let the caliper hang by the brake line. Remove the old pads, red arrows, from their clips, yellow arrow, in the mount. Remove and clean the clips, red arrow. It is a good idea to replace these when changing your pads. On the rear, the pistons must be pushed and turned at the same time. There are several options available to you here, but you will need to use a special caliper piston tool. You can buy the tool, Pelican sells them, or most local auto parts stores have a free or minimum tool rental program. The tool consists of several pucks that have pins, red arrows, that sit in the notches, yellow arrows, in the piston. Place the right puck for your piston on top of it. Install the rest of the tool and slowly compress the piston while it is turning back into the caliper. Before you begin compressing the calipers, check your brake fluid reservoir. Compressing the caliper piston will cause brake fluid to travel back up into the reservoir and you need to make sure there's room for it, red arrow. Carefully clean around the reservoir before you open it as you don't want any dirt or debris getting into it. Be prepared to use a turkey baster or fluid pump to extract some of the brake fluid if necessary. Make sure whatever you use is clean. Do not want any contaminants getting into the fluid. The caliper is now ready to install new pads. Installation is the reverse of removal. You may also want to spray the back of the pads with some anti-squeal paste. This paste basically keeps the pad and pistons glued together and prevents noisy vibrations. Some brands of pads may come with anti-squeal pads already attached to the rear surface. Anti-squeal pads can also be purchased separately as sheets that are peeled off and stuck on the rear of the pads. When finished with both sides, press on the brake pedal repeatedly to make sure the pads and pistons seat properly. Also make sure that you top off the master cylinder reservoir if necessary. Brake pads typically take between 100 and 200 miles to completely break in. It is typical for braking performance to suffer slightly as the pads begin their wear in period. Make sure that you avoid any heavy braking during this period and make sure you bed the pads to the rotors in accordance with the manufacturer of the pads you purchased. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.